All right, guys, we're going to be taking a look as well as unboxing a new product from Lee Precision. This is their Ram Swage die kit. So up top, you're going to get your instructions. It's very simple instructions. And then inside, you're going to get two swage holders, or essentially these are your shell holders. You're going to get a small as well as a large primer pocket swage holder, and then your die. So I've got a pretty good, you know, time with this, uh, the Ram swage. I've done, I want to say this is maybe 1100 pieces of brass, um, and they've all been on the small swage holder. And so you can see, you know, there's zero wear, if any, it's a little bit dirty with you know, brass and whatnot, but yeah, it's not bad. So if you're new to reloading, I'll go ahead and explain the process or, or as to why you might want to swage. Uh, this really deals with 5.56 five, uh, that come with a military crimp, like you see here on this piece of Lake City brass. And um, I'll go ahead and show you. If you've ever attempted to place a primer on a piece of crimped brass, that has not been swaged. Basically what will happen is you will just crush the primer. And so what you should be able to do is you should be able to rest the primer on there and it should not sit crooked like this. It should just kind of rest inside but not be pushed in too easily. Uh, just kind of rest on the top there. And so what we want to do is we want to remove the crimp so that we can push in primers easily. So I'm going to take you guys over to the reloading bench, show you how it gets set up, and basically it's used on a couple pieces. All right, guys, I'm going to get this set up and kind of show you how it works and functions. So now that we've got some known brass that does need swaging, uh, in this case we're using 223-556. So because it's got a small primer pocket, we're going to use the small swage holder. That's gonna go in just like any other of your shell plates. And so the instructions state to install the swage holder, install a piece of brass, and bring the ram all the way to the top. Then you're gonna take your die, place that on there. And you're gonna screw this down. And I've already got this set um, to my likings. So you would basically screw this down until you meet resistance. And then they say to bring the ram to the down position and screw it one quarter turn more. Uh, in my case, I had to screw it down about uh, one full turn more, uh, but you know, that's gonna be a case by case basis on how you like to have your primer pocket swaged. And so the way it works, you're basically just gonna take your brass like this, bring that up, and sometimes you'll get brass stuck in there, uh, but I found that after you know doing it maybe 500 or so, you just wanna clean the, the swage holder off and then uh, you shouldn't have any more get stuck on there. But yeah, so again, just take your brass, bring the ram up, bring it down and you're good to go. And you just repeat that process uh, until you get all your brass swaged. If you guys have any questions about the uh, the Ram Swage made by Lee, just drop a comment down below. Thank you for watching.